Welcome back. This is Deep Sea Exploration Week. Today we're making a scuba diver. There's a lot of little pieces and I'm going to show you one way that you can do it and then I will show you how I finished mine. Ready? Let's go. First, take everything out of the bag for week five and spread everything out on the table. Try to organize it, the feet together, hands, etc. Let's get started. Okay. I'm going to start. I've got my glue sticks. I've got everything spread out. I've got my instructions. And the first thing I want to do is put the hair onto the head. Now, some of the packets have only the one piece that I have here. Other packets, as I'll show you, have hair for someone who likes longer hair, and that goes on the sides of this piece of hair, like this. Just put the glue on, and you can either stick this piece on top of the uh, top hair, or you can slide it underneath. It's your choice. Do it whatever way makes you happy. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You ready? There's mine. So next, I'm going to take the scuba diver mask. And it's the two pieces of blue. I'm going to put the smaller piece on top of the uh, bigger piece, glue that down, and then I'm going to slide it onto the face right up to where the hair begins, and maybe even a little over the hair or under the hair. Again, you get to decide this is your scuba diver. You do what makes sense to you trying to be a little careful here so that it's balanced out. And then there's that little nose piece. That will go right at the bottom in the middle of the scuba mask. Okay, so now that I have that done, it's time to put the mouthpiece. It's that little gray oval that goes right below the mask, almost at the bottom of the face. And then here we have it, what it looks like. You see that? Put that aside. Get the body part. It's probably black or gray. It might be a different color. And we're going to put the feet on. And those, I would put some glue at the top of the foot and slide it underneath. Make that look like the feet are kicking because those are the flippers that the diver is wearing. So do you see how I'm sliding it underneath? Okay, I'll hold it up and you can look. I'm going to hold this up and show you both sides, back and front. Now I'm going to set this back down with that little bump on, on the bottom because that's where this little orange piece goes. It's a funny little piece. Uh, I ended up tearing part of mine on purpose because I didn't like the way it looked. And again, you don't even have to use this if you don't want to. It's almost mostly hidden by the scuba tank. So let's go back to the head, put a little glue on the bottom, and put that on top of the body. There. And now we're on to the scuba tank. That uh, curved piece goes across the bottom, almost on the bottom. And the rounded part will go away from the body. Let me just put this on and then I will let you see it. Okay, I'm fitting this under the head a little bit 
and up towards the top. And now that's where I'm tearing this extra orange off because I don't want it to show on mine. But you do what you would like. I only wanted the orange to show on the bottom to cover that little bump that you find. All right. I think I have it the way I want it. A little more glue maybe and help it stick down. Okay. Now the arms. The widest part of these two pieces is the top and it will, they will both tuck right under the, the head area. So take them and tuck them underneath the upper part of the body and the head as though the diver has his arms or her arms stretched out. And of course, off of the arms, we'll go with the hands. Make sure the thumbs are pointing in. Look at your own hand, stretch your arm out. You can see that your thumbs points in. So put the hands, tuck those under the arms. Now we're on to the breathing tube for the scuba diver. And if you can tuck that under the, the scuba tank and under the gray oval, that looks a little better. I did not do it that way. I wanted you to see both ways. Now the last little thing here are these little curves that go on top of the diver's flippers. They're a yellowish color in most cases. All right, let's see how we look here. You ready to take a look? There's my diver. There we go. Now, if you want to stop here, fine, but I did give you this paper, and I'm going to show you what I did with the paper and the stickers and some markers and my diver. You ready to see it? Here it is. I pretended he was swimming underwater deep in the ocean among all the fish. And then I drew some seaweed. But you do whatever you want.